Waka Waka Waka, what's up? And welcome back to the channel for yet another FC Finch production. And uh, yeah, so uh, as as everybody may know, you know, it's been about six months since the last time we did this, so I think it's a time for another collection update. And uh, yeah, as you could tell, this uh, room, if you watched my first collection update, a lot different. I know I'm shameless plugging on my television, a lot different um, from uh, my previous room. So as I stated, uh, I have moved. In fact, my uh, girlfriend and I, or the Admiral and I, have both moved. And uh, we are currently in a condo of sorts. So uh, this, uh, we've downsized the uh, living arrangement quite a bit. And of course, uh, I've been able to kind of uh, uh, use a quite a much bigger room um, uh, for my collection. So uh, again, we're going to go through everything and uh, just kind of, you know, we're just going to kind of go through how I've changed things because things have changed quite a bit since the last time. So I figure I might give you the outlay of the room. So again, um, and I'll explain kind of what I'm doing here. So again, here is the entire outlay of the room. And yeah, so it's, it's a two uh, bedroom condo. So of course, there's uh, quite a bit. We got, you know, our Decepticon shelf. We got some Star Trek stuff. Uh, but of course, so this is our living room. And yeah, you can see I brought out some uh, stuff that I've had for quite a while. Um, so yeah, and we're just going to go through all of this. So uh, how this is going to be, I'm going to start off with the Star Trek stuff. We're going to move on to Transformers. Then we're going to move on to some miscellaneous stuff. So without further ado, let us get underway and let's do our collection update. So the first thing, starting off with Star Trek, and the first thing that I kind of did is um, uh, I bought some new shelves. Um, that's right. Uh, so you'll you'll remember I used uh, one of these shelves and a Detolf to previously store my Star Trek ships. And uh, as I stated in my last collection overview, these shelves right here aren't really quite. Uh, they're not really for. Uh, Eagle Moss stuff. I mean, Eagle Moss stuff is just really too small for them, so I wasn't really utilizing the space. So, um, what we did is uh, I bought a uh, Rudsta case from IKEA, and uh, you can see uh, this is this is our TV stand. This is where we watch TV. Um, so uh, we have everything, and uh, of course, so starting at the top, I have of course my uh, CAD drawings of the USS Enterprise that I found while working <laughs> at a CAD firm no less during college. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, just randomly, and of course. TV TV's gonna go idle for a little while, that's okay. Um, so, and then of course on top we have uh, a gift from the parents, and actually a gift from uh, one of my friends, uh, Dan, a uh, guy who I uh, autocross with. Um, I got my uh, my Captain Kirk beer koozie, and uh, then of course I have uh, a gift from my parents, the uh, uh, Kirk Spock and Uhura Barbie dolls. Um, so again, those are kind of taking up residence on the top. And without that, let's go into the Rudsta case. Um, now the benefits of using this Rudsta is that I have been able to really kind of put out a lot more ships um, than I previously had. So you'll remember a lot of my ships were boxed up at our old residence. Uh, so now a lot of them are back, are out of storage. So we're just going to move right on down. So again, this uh, How to Host a Murder Mystery Star Trek edition was from a friend. And of course on the top we have mostly uh, the Enterprises on top. We got the E, the B, the C, the Discovery Enterprise, the J, all three Fs just kind of on top. And you can see how we're really utilizing the space. I mean, you have just have about four inches to the top of the shelf. Uh, and of course, um, I was able to bring up my Lower Decks Titan now. So that is on display. I'm really happy to have that out. Um, and then moving on down, uh, we got uh, basically my Deep Space nine and uh my Battlestar Galactica aka Miscellaneous Shelf and again um you know I know it kind of doesn't mesh with Star Trek but this is the room I had and quite frankly I've been I've had these ships in storage while and I personally love Battlestar Galactica it doesn't even Battlestar Galactica excuse me doesn't seem to get too many hits on my channel but I love it um so of course we have Gal uh, uh excuse me Blood and Chrome Galactica the Pegasus the Valkyrie and then of course the Cylon Special Edition we have the uh Daedalus from Stargate, and then of course we have our, uh, these were previously just in storage, these have been in storage for uh, the past year, and then of course we have our Deep Space Nine uh, collection, we got the Defiant, we got DS9, we got the Akira class, all this, a lot of this stuff I've reviewed already, some of it I haven't, and then of course we have Mr. Worf, a gift I got from uh, one of my friends, uh, my friend Rob, and let me move the camera up so we can get to the bottom of them, you can just really see how, uh, how, how, how much I mean, again, I love this shelf, uh, it 
really fits the Eagle Boss a lot better. And then on the bottom, we have our uh, random aliens, mostly Romulans. Um, you can see the Cardassians. They got the Keldon class and the uh, Galore class there. And then we got the Dominion with the uh, uh, the Thought, uh, excuse me, uh, not Thought Gore, the uh, Gortan class. And then, of course, the Jebhadar. And then, of course, we got the Scimitar, the uh, Raymond Warbird, and the uh, Sona command ship. And then, of course, we have some of our older Starfleet vessels. We got the Excelsior class XL. Um, we have the uh, Enterprise, uh, Doug Drexler concept, and a lot of our Wolf 359 ships that were previously out, but we have not, I have not had the, clay, the uh, alien ships out for some time. Uh, so that will conclude this shelf. And moving on, so I bought a whole new detolf, and uh, it kind of keeps a little symmetry. Uh, you'll notice the rudstick case is black, so I purchased an anthracite uh, detolf case to kind of keep with the darker theme. Um, and of course, so there we have uh, uh, the gift from my parents and uh, the gift from my uh, aunt, uh, the autographed uh, Star Trek photo, and of course the... Uh, uh, I believe these are the Diamond Select, or I believe this is one that we call Art Asylum, uh, the action figures. And then, of course, we have the uh, 1701AXL, and then, of course, the uh, Refit and the Reliant, as well as my Star Trek Deca cards. Uh, then, of course, we have another gift from a friend, the uh, Pez Dispenser set, as well as uh, Ambassador Data. Um, and of course, we have the uh, Next Generation class ships. We have the uh, Galaxy X, the uh, Enterprise D, and then of course, the smaller Enterprise D. And then of course, we have the Nebula class ships. And again, I really, uh, a lot of my friends, it's, it's great that I have a lot of friends that support uh, my hobby, because a lot of this, you'll notice a lot of this random, uh, these random trinkets are from my friends uh, that, you know, I mean, they're, they're not crazy about Star Trek like I have to say hey you know I got this you want it it's like so again I, I totally appreciate it that's why I like to keep it out and display it. and then of course I'm so happy I could get these out I actually dedicated a shelf to the Klingons we have the uh uh Katinga XL, as well as the D7 from Discovery. And I said during my review that these ships, they go really good together. I mean, I feel like they're family. And then, of course, we have the uh, D4, the D5, the uh, Vorsha, and uh, the... Oh, man, I always forget this one. I always forget this one. And then, of course, we have the Klingon Raptor uh, in back there. So, again, really happy with this shelf. Then, of course, we have my Mego uh, Klingon action figure. I believe my parents got me that one uh so just really nice class. And then of course we have our voyager shelf on the bottom we have the uh, voyager xl and the prometheus xl as well as uh the sexca sesca playmate action figure and then of course we have the uh basic uh prometheus as well as the wells class relativity the equinox or equinox excuse me uh warship voyager and uh, the rick sternbach concept so yeah i mean again really you know i've, I've downsized on the furniture that i've used with the walls but i think it works a lot better better um, for the collection. Moving on to my Transformers. Now, we're going to start off with my Decepticons. Now, you will notice that my Decepticons are over here on one side of the room, and uh, my Autobots are on the other. Um, the reason for this is, um, the, the, you see this wall over here. I was not sure. The wall is very near the window. I was not sure how much sunlight would hit this wall, uh, but it doesn't look like there has been much, especially since I leave the, these shades closed. So I may actually be moving the Decepticon shelf back over to this side at some point so this collection may be changing yet again of course what collection isn't always changing but let's go now you can see i've basically given two large uh i forget what these are called the picket shelving units to the decepticons so let's get right into it and open up the door and uh yeah so you'll see on top we have the Megatron or IT-01 along with the uh, Fans Toys Acoustic Wave with the Iacob 3D uh, chest plate as well as uh, Corvus and Shadow aka Laserbeak and uh, Ravage from Fans Toys. Put my little Decepticon right, so the B sticker uh, right there. Um, and uh, yeah, I just started to use the flight stamp for IT-01. It looks awesome. He just such a badass. I mean the MP36, I love the MP36 mold that I think uh, it's just enhanced a little bit by IT-01 but 
your mileage may vary. Uh, moving on again, I got to get some lighting for these shelves, one thing at a time. We're we're still in the process of moving. Uh, I have uh, my Takara Seekers with, uh, uh, I'm not even going to reply to their fan stories. That's Rumble, that's Redsy. I watch the cartoon, that's who they are to me. Um, but yeah, so we got our Takara Seekers um, on the bottom. I bought some, uh, I, I, I also bought some extra risers for them. Uh, so there they are. I'm hoping uh, that, uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to get uh, uh, Star Toys uh, Commander. I haven't pre-ordered, but I may cancel it um, just because I'm still not sure about the figure. I do have Fan Toys Astro Trade coming at some point, though. Um, so we will surely look forward to that. And then, of course, we have the Toy World Devastator. I don't care what no one says. This is still just a badass figure. This thing's freaking massive. Um, and uh, again, um, I, I did have the X Transbots. Uh, Constructicons on pre-order, but I may ditch them uh, for the MMC because I do like MMC a lot more. We'll get to them in a minute, um, uh, and I can use them as my standalone um, Constructicons. But so we have uh, Devastator said about I gave him his gun this time, put him in a whole different pose. I mean, yeah, such a, for for all the trouble this guy is, he is still such a sight to behold. I absolutely love that. Of course, we have Dino Cat trying to get he he notices something, but this is why I have have a closed gas glass display cabinet. It's now more than ever uh, because, of course, there is no door uh, protecting uh, my former office. So there we go. Let's move on to the next shelf. And so starting at the top, um, now I, I told myself I wouldn't get in on this set, uh, cause I, I, I haven't watched much Headmasters, I've watched Rebirth, and these guys really didn't have that crazy of a part in Rebirth, um, and, uh, y you know, uh, y I, I ended up finding this guy for a great price, waited on this guy for a great price, and I may end up paying full price for, price for Lubis because, God, do these guys look badass. I love the uh, the Fans Toys Headmasters. I may actually go in on the Autobot ones, too, because uh, these guys just look so, so good. And uh, I personally cannot wait uh, to throw Lupus in this set. These guys are enhanced with the... Uh, uh, Headmaster's Ball Kit from uh, New Supply. We got the little uh, hypnotic effect and the smoke coming from the gun, the blaster effect for Skull Cruncher. Um, and moving down, we kind of put Galvatron on the shelf with Cyclonus. We're waiting to see. I gotta wait to see how he fits. I'm waiting for Fans Toys Scourge to arrive. So I got the FT-2019, of course, in that beautiful jet mode. Um, and you know, I hear a lot of people talk about, oh, I, uh, I can't, uh, I, uh, I, I, I don't know why anybody would chance for all their fan toys. That's why. Because this thing, it looks so badass. Uh, that is exactly why you transform a fan's toys. Um, uh, and then, of course, we have Cyclonus, the FT-29. And then I put Nightstick in there. You know, Nightstick doesn't read that much. He's an accessory. I'll put him on display. Why not? And then, of course, we have... Uh, FT-16M Sovereign, and uh, again, what a cool figure. I will not be buying uh, x Transpots Abaddon. Uh, cartoon accuracy be damned. I think this guy looks, uh, still stands up. Um, so, uh, and he's available right now too, so uh, there's that. And moving on down, of course, waiting on the leader for this team, uh, completed a bit more of my MMC Combaticons. And again, these guys are going to be my standalone Combaticons. I will be doing videos on them shortly. Um, I will be combining them once for the video, but these guys are going to be my standalone. I'm probably going to go with the Zeta toys for my Combiner. But uh, yeah, these guys just look absolutely too cool. I'm waiting for Onslaught to come in because uh, th this is really going to knock the socks off this set. I'm, I'm thoroughly enthused with it. And then at the bottom, uh, for lack of a better place, and this is why, again, there will be revisions, uh, we, of course, have Movie Blackout. I hear Bone Crusher is, uh, I hear rumors of Bone Crusher, I haven't seen anything official, uh, is on the next from the official, and I will be getting that um, when that comes. I kind of have to dust out here, though, of course, got Scorpidoc with him. Um, but, yeah, such a cool figure. I absolutely love uh, these MPMs. I'm, I'm going to give them their own shelf with Autobots and Decepticons, but uh, for now, that is where he will lie and that is it for my Decepticons. Moving on to my Autobots. Now, uh, you will see that one of the things that I did uh, end up doing is I do I did uh, use uh, an extra shelf. So now I have uh, I have a dedicated Season 2 Autobot shelf. Uh, so there we go. We'll start at the top. 
Um, and of course, uh, with my uh, portrait of uh, my Corvette in Autobot mode made by A. Ragoni. Um, again, such a cool artist, super cool dude, and I absolutely love this picture. It just looks so badass. So uh, um, I put, of course, there's our eternal uh, comparison in car mode. I put MP18 Streak uh, back in the box, and I put... Uh, uh, hot Rod, Studio Series Hot Rod back in his box. Uh, but again, he just, just kind of display on the top side. I don't really collect Chug. And then, of course, my Transformers chest set. And then moving on to the top of the deck shelf, got the box for Lego Optimus Prime. Uh, and I guess we'll start off with uh, kind of the outside uh, shelf, the outside G1. And then, of course, at the top, we have Lego Optimus Prime at the top. Looking all awesome, such a cool set, what a cool project. And then of course, moving down, we have MM01, still my favorite figure of 2022. I still love this guy uh, with the MM01A kit uh, down there with uh, Shock Warrior, AKA Bumblebee Ratchet. And again, what a cool set they are. And then moving down, there is my Magic Square MS02 and uh, my, uh, Excuse me, Reximus Prime Grimlock in Dynawood. I told you I was going to display them still. That's right, all three of my Grimlocks are on display. And then, of course, my uh, Make Toys Jazz and X Transbots Taurus. Still uh, an awesome X Transbots figure. I wish they made more figures uh, just like that one. And these are kind of my, my, they're not my main guys, but I still like them. And uh, yeah, so for those that don't know, uh, I am keeping MS02. I actually am giving away my uh, MS02 EX to a friend. Um, this guy ended up being just just a little more poseable. Um, so yeah, I'll be sticking with him. And then of course, coming to the bottom here, I have my Movie One Autobots. We have uh, Silver Phantom with Sam down there. Such a cool figure. And then of course, uh, LT-02. And I have a surprise coming for this. So, uh, uh, but uh, LT-02 with his uh, swords uh, at the bottom. So again, I, I absolutely love these guys. So there we go. And then coming to the other side, uh, we have our Season 2 shelf, which, of course, we have Fans Toys Recorder. We have uh, Fans Toys, uh, their uh, Perceptor, and then, of course, we have Rewind and Sea Spray. All these are Fans Toys box. Again, really, really love these guys. They're kind of taking up residence on my top shelf. Can't wait for uh, the uh, the Recorder uh, cassette box to come in. And then on the bottom, we have... <laughs> One of my favorite accessories, I love uh, the uh, saving juice with um, uh, Takara Tome MP33. I still like this guy. I won't be getting the X-Transbots. I think this guy is the uh, cat's meow. Then, of course, we have the uh, Takara skids right there, as good as skids as any. And then, of course, we have the Fans Toys Hitch. And, uh, you know, I said that I'm not crazy about Hoist, uh, but I may actually pick up uh, the Takara Tome uh, hoist, um, because, wow, I am currently impressed by him. And then, of course, moving down, we have our MMC and our X-Trans bots, uh, protect bots, of course, uh, they're all in robot mode right now. Um, MMC going to be my standalone bots. Uh, we have Navigant right there, aka Streetwise. And then, of course, we have the Streetwise, aka Fuzz and Jokund from X Transbots. They're going to be in combined mode. If X Transbots ever comes out with uh, the rest of their kit this century. So, there we go for the Season 2 shelf at current. And moving on to the Season 1 shelf, we'll start on top. Yeah, I have rearranged things. So, of course, we have uh, Fans Toys Trail Breaker uh, enhanced with new supply effects. I actually have to get a new uh, effects kit for him from new supply, because uh, unfortunately his uh, little wavy things uh, both unfortunately uh, broke during moving and not, not any fault of new supply. I was I was not careful mishand I was not careful handling them. So that's on me. So I'll be, I will be reaching out to new supply for a set um, uh, very shortly. And then of course we have, uh, we have a Sideswipe MP12. Uh, I'm hoping somebody does a 2.0. No, I don't want Bad Cube Steamroller. I'll wait for a Fans Toys Water to car to do a 2.0 of this guy. But he is my Sideswipe now. We got Fans Toys Huffer. And, of course, then we have Sunstreaker. And we have... Uh, Takara Tome uh, MP17 Prowl right there. Hoping to get the plus uh, at my earliest availability. And then, of course, we have MP57 Skyfire, um, which is our most recent review. He is down there with Parkour, uh, Jive, 
and Phantasm, aka Mirage, Jazz, and Cliff Jumper. And uh, kind of coming out here. And then, of course, we have MP44 in his trailer. That's right. I paid for the whole damn figure. I'm going to display the whole damn figure. Um, so we have MP44. Uh, this is still my definitive prime. I don't care what no one says. Uh, I still very much love MP44. I, I, I think it's a it's a cool bot. I love that he talks. I love that he talks to Peter Call his voice. And, uh, yeah, I love that he comes with the trailer. So I still am very much an MP44 guy. And moving down to the final display area shelf uh we have of course um mp18 plus blue streak right there i got a really cool figure really happy i could find him even if it was used with no box and then of course we have iron hide next to him to fill in the height and then of course we have x transpots boost aka wind charger until i find a better wind charger because i do not like transforming this guy so uh there we go for the season one shelf and lastly moving on to my dinobot shelf and yes if you haven't heard it from me before yes i love the dinobots yes i have three masterpiece grimlocks no i don't regret buying any one of them so we're gonna start on top with the giga power uh grimlock aka superior and um a Gooter or uh, Snarl up at the top, strictly because I that's where they kind of fit these. If you have the uh, Giga Power guys, you know that these things are all flipping massive. So uh, however they fit is how they get displayed. I wish I kind of had a shelf that could display them all on one, but that will have to come in the future. And then, of course, in a similar display, I got... Um, uh, Grassor, I had yeah, Gravitor, and um, uh, Gardenter, of course, Swoop, Slag, and Sludge, and of course, uh, just played out. I think he's like a 20 inch wingspan for freaking uh, Giga Power Swoop. And then, of course, we have Slag shooting some flames at the bottom. These are all the Giga Power Chromes, by the way. I got these all on their reissues, except for Gooter, which I actually had to go to eBay for. I'm not sure if they ever re released the Chrome one. And then, of course, we have Gravitor right there again, just all. All, all in their dino mode. I, I kind of like my dino bots all in dino mode. I, I really love their dino forms. Speaking of dinos, we have a uh, dino cat on his tree. He's happy because all his stuff is now in um, there. This is basically the office, the uh, sleeping area, and uh, the uh, entertainment room all in one. Um, so, and then of course, moving to the bottom, we have our fans toys. Dino bots. I know all the fans toys fans are going to be like, oh my god, you put the fans toys on the bottom. It's, it's where I had room. So, um, uh, but we yeah, but I love them nonetheless. And of course, we have Grinder, aka Grimlock, uh, and I have uh, Wheeljack and Ratchet at the bottom, both from Takara Tome. And then, of course, moving down, we have, uh, of course, my most recent Pants Toys edition, Scoria, um, aka Slag. We have Slag, Sludge, and Swoop. Just waiting on uh, Sever, aka Snarl, now hopefully to come. I love the fact that um, uh, Swoop came with a flight stand that you can actually use a bit bit better than you can with um, Giga Power Gardenter. Now, now, r r real quick, I, I I know I can sound like I'm giving a uh, flack. Neither fans toys or Giga Power um, really. It, it, it's really how many flaws do you want to put up with? Because they both both swoops for these guys have flaws. But again, still still cool bots to have around. You just have to be careful of how you pose each of them. Uh, but yeah, and that is it for the Dinobot shelf. And moving away from Transformers to my randoms. And of course, we have a few things. So, of course, I have my 3 0 uh, Green Ranger action figure. He's still boxed up until I find a uh, place to swim. Of course, a gift from the Admiral, a birthday gift from many, many moons ago, the uh, Corvette Black Book, and of course, a Corvette Zero One Lego kit. Not, it's a fun kit to build, but uh, as far as accuracy goes, well, uh, you can see not the greatest, but it's still a lot of fun. And then, of course, my Mobile Suit Gundam Zeta box set. Uh, you can't really see it too well, but it is side by Yoshiyuki Tabano. Um, this was from 2006. Uh, I believe October of 2006 that I met him at a book signing. I actually got this box set signed, so I'm really happy with that. Um, that kind of takes up a uh, spot on my top shelf. And then, of course, I have, of course, uh, my Nekatoys Robocop figures. I got the Battle Damaged and the Standard uh, with the chair both displayed. Uh, waiting on, I believe, the Mayfex to come and complete this. I'll probably get a little um, toy of his cop car. And then Coming to the bottom, have uh, the uh, NECA Toys Ed 209 and the HIA Toys uh, Robocop 2, both looking menacing on the bottom. And again, th this guy, you've seen my reviews. I know these don't get a lot.
lot of call, but um, again, really good things come in little packages, and uh, I absolutely love this Ed 209. It tickles my childhood fancy like no other. And moving down to these terrible figures that I will never review, but I still keep them displayed because they look cool by uh, uh, Kyodo and Zebek. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, so I do apologize. Um, uh, Evangelion figures, um, and I, of course I have my Pen Pen plush back when I used to really attend anime conventions, which I don't do much anymore. And then, of course, I have a boxed Ava Unit 4. Actually, I wish I had kept them all boxed, but all well. I actually thought they were, I made the mistake of thinking they were good action figures. And then, of course, um, we did lose one of the uh, Ava Units 1 through 15. Uh, it broke on the way here. Um, the plastic is so terrible. I'm glad I could even get these guys to hose. But there we have the uh, Ava Unit 1 through 15 standing. We have a little statuette of Ray. And, of course, we had... Let's make sure you make Ray stare this way. And then, of course, we have Ava Unit 2. And uh, this guy was a pain to get sand. And a nice Ava 2 plushie right there. Uh, so, yeah, and that's kind of it for my shelf of random stuff. All right, and moving on to the last area of the room. Yes, a nice little nook. Got my uh, entertainment system, which, again, is probably going to go towards the uh, other side of the room that I just showed you when I moved my Decepticon shelves over here. And, yes, that is Star Wars Rogue Squadron for N64. Awesome game. I still play it to this day. Uh, trying to become Supreme Allied Commander again, albeit uh, 20 years later. <laughs> just giving my age away. And, of course, we have uh, my Star Trek uh, portrait, which was a gift from my friend... Uh, Rob and something that was in the other room a gift from my friend Eric uh, about five or six years ago a Star Trek 4 movie poster and yes that is Star Wars toys um you see I know I know Finch why am I posting Star Wars toys with a Star Trek poster I know it's it's again it's a work in progress it's a work in progress so what do you want um so anyway and of course we have um I used to collect Star Wars back in high school um I don't really have much of the new stuff that's come out though I kind of do want the uh, Black Series uh Bad Batch that I see coming out I think they got uh Wrecker coming out um so I got a uh, Kylo Ren um, doll from uh, my parents. Uh, so, so being from them, of course, he's going to take pride on myself. No, I don't want to hear any stuff about the uh, sequels. They were a good, enjoyable film that I was able to watch with my girlfriend, and that makes me happy that I'm able to enjoy something with her. So, uh, it, it, so, so yeah, not, not crazy about the sequels, but you know what? Anytime that I can enjoy a movie with uh, my girlfriend, I am very pleased. So, uh, so yeah, so all that stuff, like, oh, God, it's not kids. Like, I don't care. It, it's a fun movie. I get to watch it with my girlfriend. She gets to enjoy some of my nerdiness, so I'm happy with that. All right, and of course, moving to, uh, they get all these are, are from, uh, God, 20 plus years ago. I have my AT-80 AT Walker uh, right here, and yes, it still does work. Actually, I'm not gonna, hold on, let's there we go. There we go. Yes, it still does work. At least I think the guns work. Uh, but I'm not sure. I don't think the uh, the, the talking works. And then because we have the snow speeder, which I also believe uh, still works. Okay, that's enough from you. That's enough from you. <laughs> But it definitely does work. Um, then, of course, we have uh, some of the stuff still in box. I mean, these were Power of the Force figures. For those that didn't that collected Power of the Force, you already know, these don't move too much. So, uh, I mean, seriously. So, aside from the fact that we can't see the Wampa, which we got right here, we got a Wampa plushie, as well as a Star Wars lunchbox I got from a friend at work. Um, so, again, that's why that is not displayed. And moving down, we have uh, Yoda plush toy and then of course we have some of my more favorite action figures still in box we have the uh collection the uh classic collection four pack oh god this is from like 1996 or something like that i forget the whole gimmick behind it i got it from my aunt and then of course some of my favorites um i'm a huge fan of jabba's palace i'm very jealous of uh bobby skull faces of uh dioramas i see for this uh this is the power of the voice max rebo uh, band pair and then I've got a uh, I believe this was a Star Wars fan club exclusive uh uh Ula and Salicious Crumb and then of course the Jabba's Dancers three pack right there and then moving down we have the Power of the Force A-Wing and the Y-Wing Starfighter with Pine. I am probably going to take this out of the box just haven't had a chance to yet um so there we go for that and uh then of course we have um some Star Wars uh sequel uh trilogy figures and uh yeah the reason I have these displayed are because 
because these are for my parents. Uh, so again, they got me these. So uh, yeah, any any uh, gifts that I have, uh, I, again, I don't care what movie it's from. Um, if they were gifted to me by a friend or a family member, uh, I display it on my shelf. That is, a, I am truly overjoyed when my friends out of the kindness of their heart uh, get me things. So, and I'll say this time and again. So again, if, if, if a friend has gifted me a figure, uh, on my shelf it will go uh, whether I cared for the film or not doesn't matter it was gifted to me and I love it very much so uh yeah so there we go for that all right and that's going to conclude this collection overview yes sorry for glare on glass these are all in glass cases of course so yeah and uh, that being said that's pretty much it for today um you know again just kind of give you an idea of how far we've come where we're going and of course we've, we've changed all locations uh for our previous residence so of uh, of course things have changed quite a bit they're probably going to change even more by the time you see this in 2024 and uh i'm so happy to kind of share this with you and just kind of hopefully give you ideas of how you want to display your collection or uh maybe you know maybe, maybe you want to show me how you display yours and uh, how much it uh, wipes mine uh, wipes the floor with mine excuse me um so uh yeah and uh, that being said um you know i have been kind of tossing around the idea of uh doing a segment of the sc fin show if anybody wants to send me photos of their collection um uh and uh, definitely you know just looking at it not critiquing it but just kind of you know just looking at their collection on YouTube and just kind of, you know, to, to complimenting it and whatnot. Um, yeah, l let me know if you think that's a good idea and we could maybe do a few episodes on that in the future. I definitely uh, think that would be awesome. I love seeing, get, seeing other people's collection, getting other ideas of how they do things. Um, so yeah, uh, leave a comment um, and let me know. And that being said, if you like this video, consider leaving a like. Also consider subscribing to the channel if you are not yet subscribed. Again, I do reviews of Star Trek, Transformers mostly, and then a few other random stuff. I'll even be reviewing a beer um, in a couple weeks. Yes, it's a beer after Voltron. Who doesn't like beers named after Voltron? And I'm not kidding. If you see, I put a picture up on my community page if you haven't checked that out yet. So do check that out. And that being said, it is time to end. So like and subscribe if you certainly like this video and want to see more. Thank you to those of you who already are subscribers. It has been such a long journey, almost 300. I am so happy and grateful for each and every one of you thank you so much for that and that being said i have been fc finch and that's gonna conclude today's video thank you so much for watching good night